So I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a little white dot. I mean, a white line, if I put it here, you guys can see it, right? Like right here. So we're trying to figure that out. Um, that's why we're here. Again, these cutters are brand new. We, they obviously work. It's just a bunch of adjusting and things like that. Um, and then once we figure it out, you just kind of go from there. Yo, what's up guys? It is Efren the Marketer. I'm currently sitting here on our beautiful chair. Just kidding, we don't have any chairs yet. We have some chairs, but I'm having a conversation with Alex, our print tech. He just started about a week. This is your first week, right? Yep. yep. I was hitting up our Goal Level Media team and I was like, yo, the Goal Level Print IG needs to be more active and showcasing more of the Goal Level Print. Some of our clients pay us for social media, but uh, they do the in-house daily posting kind of type of deal. We run the marketing campaigns and schedule stuff out. But I was in here and I was like, what can we do, right? Cause like printing, at the end of the day, printing is kind of boring. It's kind of like office paper, like what can you really post? You know me, I added it to my phone and I started taking pictures and things like that and posting. And I was telling Alex like, let's do a heavy campaign because if you're new to the channel, this is Golo Print, which is our first retail location. And it's, a, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's a little slow and it's about what we do, right? So you can tell there's cars outside, people are driving by. Obviously a lot of the walls and stuff are empty, but our phones aren't ringing like they're supposed to. And a lot of business owners will be like, oh, another slow day, screw it, let's go home. And this is the reason why I come in in here, because when it's slow, it obviously means that we're not getting leads or we're getting leads, but we're not closing them. People just don't feel comfortable ordering through us. Retail is different from our website. Our website, we have consistent orders there. It's about, we open retail to not just have the same orders online and nothing here. Been just brainstorming. I posted this picture, just kind of posting things, right? And as you can tell, the audience, it's pending right now. The audience, I was like, okay, if we're planning on getting a lot of traffic here, to this location, what do we need to do? And I was like, okay, we need to post more, but not just post more, we need to boost. So I started boosting some post a five mile radius, certain keywords like small local shop, coffee shop, print, you know, restaurants, trying to hit the smaller businesses. You guys can tell it's really quiet in here. And it gives me anxiety that's quiet, meaning we need to do a lot more work regarding advertising. A lot of businesses are just, oh, it's slow. We'll think about what to do. Somebody will come in or, or you have a really busy day and then the rest of the week it's slow. My biggest thing is, can we get consistent leads? Can we get consistent sales? Can we get consistent things uh, to operate? And we're still also waiting on some printers too. So uh, as you guys can see the blue tape on the floor, the blue tape is literally what the printers are gonna go and the cutters. So most of this stuff is gonna be out of this print room. We're waiting on like a $100,000 machine. We're obviously not open 100%, but still we wanna get the ball rolling now. We don't wanna wait until we have everything and then freak the fuck out on why we're not getting business. It's like, okay, we soft open, but still we should push hard because it's not like we're gonna get a million orders at once. If you're a business owner, you know what I mean. And if you don't know what I mean, you're probably not in business, so. Not throwing shots or anything. Yeah. Exactly. If the printers aren't rolling, that means we're uh, we're not doing. It's 1:30 on a Friday. Most people yeah. want to get out of here though. It's like we still got a couple hours left. We're still figuring out how we can still make some money. One of the things, surprisingly, like uh, business owners work really early. So like, if we can't catch them right now, we're not going to catch them until probably like Monday or something. Monday six o'clock is better than a Friday at 2 p.m. You know what I'm saying? And I mean six o'clock a.m. And the thing about Instagram and Facebook, there's all these like business people that aren't really business people and they make entrepreneurship like look fun. Like they don't show the I'm stressed the fuck out this week because this, you know? I bet you nobody here knows that I always have to sign my life away. I say sign my life away. Like earlier I got a credit card for Golo Print and then I had to secure it with my own personal stuff. Anytime anything goes south, and you're probably wondering like why a lot of business owners are freaking 
dicks. And it's, the reason why they're dicks is because they have to secure everything. They might have something today, but if something goes south, they might not have nothing at all tomorrow. Business owner, why they're stressed out, why they have mood swings. It's like dealing with everything and being in debt is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mind it. It's, it's fun, but I do stress a lot. Something I don't show a lot, I, I stress. When I'm in here, I might be on the couch, but it doesn't mean exactly my brain is not working. Supposedly, you know, I'm resting, but my brain's consistently running. And that's the thing, like 24 seven, that's what I'm doing, just thinking of a plan. And it's not like we're hurting or anything because we're obviously doing okay, but it's like we're growing and we don't wanna be doing the same thing as we grew. Like we have more of capacity to take on more stuff. So how can we get there? And then once we get there, we'll do it again. So he's supposed to be getting a design to prove that we're supposed to print something. It's still, again, we're, we got a retail location to get people here from the neighborhood. We can sell stuff in New York and California and Texas. We open the retail to get people to walk in. And people are like, Evan, you're stupid. Why are you doing that? The worst decision ever. I personally don't think so. I think it's the best decision ever. Once we have it cranking, people still like to go to places. Placing an order online only gets certain amount of demographics. Right now he's trying to get this design approved. approved. Approved? Yeah. Boom. So we got it approved. The reason why I'm in here is because Christian hasn't been with us for longer than a year. Alex started Burley the first week here. Obviously I have a lot of experience in this. Uh, Eddie has a lot of experience. People in the other office has a lot of experience. So we kind of rotate and see what we can do to help and structure things. And that's something that a lot of people think like, oh yeah, once you open a business, it's all fun and games. Like nah, there's a lot of tedious shit that I do or that we do. The customer approved it in an email. It went directly to him. He had to press some buttons and then it goes to him. Those buttons he had to press is a sequence that we created to make sure that shit happens. Like there's no such thing as like, you know, we could have put it down on a sticky note and say, hey, print this. But you know, that's not scalable. So I like to see the structure of the physical operations, right? What the tools he's using right now is what we created. So if I can't see it, being active where I can't see the flaws, then the whole thing can be, you know, uh, we can pretend it's working, sitting in a chair in an office somewhere or physically looking here and asking them questions like, yo, did it work properly? Did it get approved? You see, it's just a whole different thing of work. And that's what I think about 90% of the time is like, okay, the structuring, the CRM we use, did it tag the right person? Did it break? So not just from marketing, but to the automations and things. So far, you like the new updates though? Uh, like like the no regular turnaround, the status, okay. and then all that stuff? It makes it a lot more seamless. It's like, instead of the small little questions that you guys just like, it's all on here. Yeah, if we want to scale to like 100, 200 employees, this has to be flawless. If someone's sitting here and they open up a task, then we don't know if it's gonna work. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know if it's gonna be gonna be a waste of time or our customer order is gonna be lost in the way. And that's something that we try to really refine and continue to add and remove things as we grow. Because when we first started in our old, old office, it was just us and three people in there. So the system that we were using was pretty simple. Our CRM had like five, six buttons and we had a giant whiteboard and that's it. Now it's like we have 30 people in our team. You know, obviously the communication needs to be different than a whiteboard. And that's what we're trying to create here on the computer and consistently just try to evolve all these buttons, I know you probably can't see them where they're blurry. All those buttons had to be there. We didn't buy no software. They did exactly what we did. So they sent a, you know, we're paying for us. Like everything is custom made. <laughs> There's no freaking cookie cutter. Father's Day is coming up and I told the marketing team, I was like, look, let's take all these down. Let's leave one up, right? Leave this one and we'll get this one. You already know where I'm going with this. You already know where I'm going with this. And then we get a little bubble that says, Happy Father's Day. And then we put little arms pointing like this. Tell me this is not dope. So my goal is to remove all these and hopefully by this weekend, put a little sign that says, Happy Father's Day. Tell me this doesn't look like a little kid. And then Papa, baby, Papa, baby, <coughs> Papa. Anyways, it's just something cheesy to do.
All right, so obviously you guys can tell it's kind of loud. We only have one printer running right now. And you're probably wondering like, is it printing slow or how many sheets per second? And this is something that I'm learning still as we go. There was an upgrade that was like $15,000 more to print so many more sheets per minute. And when you're there buying the machine, you're probably, oh, that's not important. And obviously now working on printing it ourselves to figure out how long it's gonna take us to do a job. Now I know why it's so important to run. We're doing a lot of rookie mistakes, to be honest with you. I'm not a print expert, this guy is. So I'm, I'm learning the process. I'm, I'm deep in the trenches. But anyways, can't wait till we get the other machine. Super uh, excited about that one. This walk in here, it's pretty loud in there and my ears are hurting, so we're gonna close this. Wrapping up the video, hopefully you guys like these type of videos. If you do, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget, next week, we're gonna start doing Mondays and Thursdays. So two videos a week, and I'm gonna continue adding more videos and continue making content. All I'm asking from you is to please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And if this is the first time watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna support, visit goldlevelmarketing.com or goldlevelprint.com.